He woke up in his own feces in the bed and all he did was just tuck the bed sheet over the feces and got in the other bed. Hey, this is Jeremy and Kevin and we're here to tell you about the one time we Our vomit story is, it's not a story, it's... I've had a few vomit stories. It's like a chronicle, like this, just chronological... Yeah. The chronicles of... Woodard. Vomia. Of Woodard. Yeah. The chronicles of Woodard. Literally. Charles can make himself vomit, like, on command. Yeah, he, he can do it on command, mm -hmm. and when he does it, he has to make this really terrible, like, lurching noise. Yeah. It's just the most disgusting thing you've ever heard, like, over the top. And yeah, you just have to have him do it for you sometime because he can do it on the spot no matter when. I've been filming him and stuff doing it since our first van tour. So yeah. that's how long it goes back. He always apologizes too. But our best vomit story is when we all got the cruise virus. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we were on tour with Devil Wars Prada mm -hmm. in 2009 and we were on a bus and Apparently someone who had the virus gave us this t-shirt and we brought it on our bus and it got like everyone sick because it just literally only takes like an hour to incubate or something like that. Except me. Literally. And everyone, Neil. Everyone except Jeremy and Neil got it and Alex. He vomited with you guys. He did vomit but he was good after a while. Right. He but, got over it that day. But me, Josh, and like a bunch of our crew members were just like literally fighting over any garbage can, any toilet to vomit or shit in. Didn't Josh vomit in the elevator? Josh at the hotel? Uh, no, I passed out in the elevator. That's what it was. Because I had no fluids left. This and then Josh, Josh was in the hotel, woke up after like passing out and he woke up in his own feces in the bed and all he did was just tuck the bed sheet over the feces and got in the other bed and showered. You know he how, showered then got in the other bed. You know how hotel beds are like super tight? Well, since he was so sick, he just slid under it. Yeah. Shit his pants, yeah. tucked it right back in. So it makes me happy to think that they didn't even check that bed. It's like, oh, it's made and moved on to the next room and the next customer literally pulled <laughs> to a bed full of shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm starstruck all the fucking time, actually. Uh, I still can't speak to Limp Biscuit. I was born with tattoos on my arm. Never spoken to him. And I heard he's the nicest guy ever, so I probably should. But I can't, because I'm fucking scared. <laughs> so, I was starstruck when we saw Harrison Ford, for sure. Scaff actually pointed it out to me. He's like, we're all sitting together. It's in the Qantas lounge. We're about to go to Australia from LAX. Scaff goes, that's Harrison Ford over there at the bar. <laughs> and you just look over and he's legitimately just sitting there, fucking Indiana Jones, just chilling, talking to this woman. And we're all just like, holy fuck. And nobody was gonna talk to him. I couldn't, there was no way I could, but Scaff, being the huge movie fan and actor fan that he is, got the courage to go ask this man as he's walking by for a photo it happened i can talk to harrison ford but i can't talk to west <laughs> yeah what's up what with the that? fuck probably in australia when we were all pretty messed up mm -hmm. smashing stuff all over the walls mostly fruit and random food all around the dressing room i remember at one point Neil. I tried to do a front flip, and then at the end of the roll, I tried to kick the chair yeah. that I was holding. So I did a front flip, had a chair, and tried to kick it with my feet. And you kicked me. Yeah, it didn't work. And then we broke some, like, vase. Yeah. <laughs> In the room that we really shouldn't have. It was like our one rock star moment. But then Neil went and got the vacuum and, like, cleaned up everything. It was... Right before we went on stage. It was a significant mess. Like, you come in and it's just like, holy shit. Yeah, that was definitely the craziest we've ever got in a room. The thing that comes to mind is we were on the Rise Against tour. <laughs> oh, God. We're on the Rise Against tour, and we got this bit where at the end of the show, me and Scaff run at each other and do this like kick behind Josh, and he has water bottles and he smashes them above his head, and the water goes everywhere, and he throws them like he's stone cold or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
Rise Against came to us. They're really cool guys. They let us do our whole show, really respectful. Uh, we were supporting them. So they came to us after like a few days of the tour and they go, hey, could you really not do that water thing? We have all these expensive lights and you already shorted out one. That's why we're coming to you. So it would, we'd appreciate it if you didn't do that anymore. Uh, he told us right before the show, like, please don't do this. They were really cool to us about it. Uh, and just because it was such a habit, we've been doing it for years, Josh forgot, and then he just went and did it, and then immediately regretted it, like remembered after he did it, but our tour manager was pissed. Because <laughs> we definitely broke another one of their lights. <laughs> sorry, so, Rise Against. Sorry, Rise Against. Uh, sorry, Andrew Weiss as well. Yeah. I'm most proud that we are still together. Same. Yeah, that and I'm pretty stoked about the festival we put together. I think yeah. that's really rad. Definitely. And like you said, yeah, that we're still a band. It's been 13 years. Wild shit. Who do you want Rock Sound to do this with next? Leave it in the comments below. <laughs>